All right, here's my uh, the beginning of my breakfast and attempt to make a clever video about it. Little potatoes and, onion and onions. Here they are, all the potatoes cut up. <clears throat> uh, I didn't peel these potatoes uh, because it's healthier. That's a lie. I didn't peel these potatoes because they're tiny and it would be a lot of work and I didn't want to do it. Uh, the potatoes will go in first because they cook faster, no, slower than the onions. I realized my last video was just a still shot of some potatoes while I was talking. That's hardly used to video. So got cast iron going on, a little bit of flame going on. I can pour some oil in. Eh, it might be too much, but I'm going with it. Uh, the pan has already been heating, so you can sort of see that. And wait till the oil gets super hot and shimmery, and then the potatoes will go in. It's shimmering a little bit, uh, but it's only been in for a second, so let's find out. I'm gonna put a sacrificial potato in the oil. All right, that's a good little beginning. Uh, that potato will be more done than all the other ones. I'm still gonna let it heat up for another moment before I put the rest in. All right, the potatoes are all in. Going to get them all broken up a little bit so all the surfaces are touching the pan. Oops, a little off center there. Uh, and now they're just going to kind of hang out in this oil, making a mess for a while uh, while I cut up the onions. And for those of you who uh, are listening to the sizzling of the potatoes, I should also let you know that there's a little Bob Dylan playing in the background. Potatoes are sizzling. Uh, Bob Dylan playing in the background, and now time for the onion prep. I realize that I'm not uh, adept enough with phone video and knife skills to chop the onion while <laughs> while I video it. So here's another still shot of me talking and showing you a chopped onion. Chopped onion right there. And then the leftover onion that will be used later in the week for tuna salad because I eat a lot of tuna salad. I want to point out also that I, in my attempt to not... not use single-use plastics as much as I can. I have this uh, Ziploc bag that I use over and over when I have a portion of an onion. Uh, I will rinse it off from the previous onion, but um, otherwise I keep it in the fridge and just reuse it. So, I don't know, saving the planet one Ziploc at a time. All right, my potatoes are doing their thing. Gonna give them a little stir around, getting some nice color on some of those, which is what we want and super awesome. I might actually turn the heat down. These are getting pretty brown, but they still have a long way to go before they're soft. So um, I like the brown, but I don't want to get them overcooked before the... Oop, I keep getting off center because I have to watch the pan, not watch the video. I need to work on my cooking show technique. Uh, that's potatoes still going. And of course, uh, breakfast is not going to be complete without some toast from this particular sourdough loaf. This is last week's sourdough loaf that I'm still finishing off. It is um, mostly white flour with a little bit of rye flour. So I'll have uh, pieces of toast to go with my breakfast. Now it's been cut, ready for the toaster. All right, potatoes are getting there. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the onions in. Doing this without using my other hand, which is interesting. <laughs> there, I need obviously a way to hold this, this uh, phone. There we go. Okay, onions are in. Now we give them a little stir. They're smelling amazing and looking good as well. So they'll get a little color along with the potatoes. The potatoes are actually cooking faster than I thought they would, which is sort of dope. I tend to not make homemade uh, hash browns because I feel like they take forever, but maybe here in quarantine land, time means something different. I dropped an onion, so... Uh, not to put it back in. There we go. All right, continuing to just let this do its thing. Bread is ready to toast. And I'll be making eggs soon. So this is my whole system for cracking eggs. I get a little a little bowl. I call these cooking show bowls, and put it there on the other side of the uh, carton. And then I will crack the eggs on the edge. And that way, if I get any drips or any shells, they actually fall in here in the carton and not on the counter. It doesn't always work out as smoothly as it seems like it will, but uh, generally it works out okay. So, ooh, and you can see, weirdly, I don't know why I do this, I leave the cracked eggshells in the carton, and then uh, when I have nothing here but cracked eggshells, I put the whole thing in the compost bin. There's probably any number of things I'm doing wrong there, but that's how I do it. All right, giving a stir of the potatoes. They are coming along nicely. Some of them are getting lots of color, so there's gonna be a lot of crispness. 
think I'm to the point of where I need to make sure I keep stirring these so that I don't uh, burn any of them. But the onions are getting soft, getting some good color as well. So uh, I need to cut one of these potatoes open and make sure they're soft in the middle. But I think they're coming along well. So it's going to be uh, breakfast potatoes and fried eggs for breakfast this morning. Obviously, I will have potatoes left over um, for, for a while since it's only me. Um, but it's going to be awesome. All right, eggs are ready to go. Uh, nothing broke, which is good. Um, potatoes are coming along nicely. Just kind of stirring these. Another moment or two, and these will actually be taken out. And I'll turn the heat down and do the eggs in uh, in this pan. I don't have any bacon or any ham or any other sort of meat product to go with breakfast this morning. So it's just going to be eggs and potatoes and toast. All right, potatoes and onions are done. Getting close in, a little bit of salt and pepper. Lots of good color, so these are going to be awesome. Waiting now for the toast to finish toasting, and this pan is going to cool down a little bit because it is too hot right now for the eggs. The eggs will be done in a, just a hot minute by the time I get everything done. So when the toast is ready, the eggs will go in the pan, and, and the potatoes will go on a plate, and I will have another cup of coffee, because right now I'm empty, and uh, that's going to be breakfast. And while getting ready for the potatoes and everything else to get ready, getting a little bit of espresso prep uh, so I can have another cup of coffee decaf for those of you who are concerned about me. <laughs> All right, I've got the heat back on on my cast iron pan. Drop in a little bit of butter. As soon as that is melted down. Ooh, that's sizzling nicely. That's hot. Be careful. Cast iron gets hot. Uh, then the eggs will go in uh, and then we're going to be ready. All right, I'm going to try this. See if I can do it without uh, just one hand. All right, eggs are in, which is super cool. Got my rubber spatula. These are gonna happen really fast, as you would expect. Um, I will say, for those of you who are concerned, uh, eggs in cast iron, definitely risky, because uh, cast iron is not known for being particularly, um, what's the word you use for when things don't stick? Non-stick, uh, but, I feel pretty good about this this morning, and uh, what's the worst that could happen, right? Scrambled eggs. I eat those a lot, too. So, eggs are cooking. We're getting close. Potatoes are ready. Toast is ready. Look, they're smiling at you. Just want to show you because it's kind of cool. These actually are moving around just fine in the cast iron. So, it's a sign of a well-seasoned cast iron pan. <laughs> in a moment, I'm going to try to flip these over. I don't know how it's going to go. All right, in preparation for for flipping, I have uh, <laughs> I have separated these and hope that I can flip them over. So, trying now. All right, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys pay attention watch while I try and do this. We'll see if I mess it up. So, getting up under it. Crap. Ah! There we go. Hope I didn't break that yoke. Hope I didn't break that yolk. They look great on the bottom. I don't see any yolk seeping out. So I'm gonna go ahead and call this a success, at least so far. All right, here we go. Making another coffee. It gets kind of loud. So this is my wonderful espresso machine that I have loved for many years now. Making an Americano. So this is a decaf double espresso coming in. This is not my best shot ever, but uh, going just fine and it's gonna be an important part of breakfast. For those of you wondering, oh, almost overflowing. Uh, this is one of my old Boy Scout coffee mugs that are, many of them, 30, 35 years old, but they also fit under here really perfectly. So, pulling this out, that is gonna be the coffee to go with breakfast. All right, friends, here it is. Quarantine breakfast, fried eggs, homemade, homemade toast, look, I can point, uh, homemade potatoes and onions, uh, a nice decaf because I've had a lot of coffee, a little salt and pepper to go with it. Uh, and we are ready for breakfast. So that was it. Breakfast cooking 101 in quarantine with me. Have a great day today.